you beautiful people of the living God all praises to the Most High the Holy One of Israel so he would like me to explain to you that if you forsake him he will forsake you but if you repent he'll turn back to you and I have some scriptures to read to you and you can take this up with fasting and praying that if you forsake God he'll forsake you but if you come back to him then he'll repent and he, 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 if, if you come back to him and you repent, then he'll take you back in. So, and the things that happen to you when you forsake God. So he wants me to explain to you, there's curses that happen to you when you forsake God. When you don't, there's a curse of unbelief. There, that's different. I have a video called the curse of unbelief. So you can get cursed by just not believing there's a God. And you can get cursed f by forsaking God if you knew God. And you chose to forsake him for idols and strange gods like what the children of Israel did. So this video is actually to the children of Israel and Judah, the ones who forsake God and the people of the nations who knew God and forsake them. And um, he wants you to know the judgments that come on you when you forsake him. And if you come back to him and repent, that the good he'll do for you. So I'm going to explain that for you right now. Deuteronomy 28 and 20. The Lord shall send upon thee cursing, vexation, and rebuke. And all that thou setst thy hand unto, unto for to do, until thou be destroyed, and until thou perish quickly, because of the wickedness of thy doings, whereby thou hast forsaken me. So because the wickedness of your doing is forsaking God. That's why he says, because of the wickedness of thy doing, whereby thou hast forsaken me. So because you're forsaking God... You, he'll send upon you cursings, vexation, rebuke, and all that thou sets thy hands on to, to do until you be destroyed and you perish quickly. So if you're not walking in the ways of God, you know you're walking in the way in the works of iniquity. All right, so here is some scriptures. I got to read you, 2 Chronicles 15 and 2. And he went out to me, Asa, and said unto him, Hear ye me, Asa, and all Judah and Benjamin, the Lord is with you. You know Emmanuel's name, Isaiah 7 and 14, means God with us. The Lord is with you while you be with him. So God is with you, people, once you're with him. So that's what he wants you to know. The Lord is with you while you be with him. So when you forsake God, he'll forsake you. And if you seek him, he will be found of you. But if you forsake him, he will forsake you. So that's what God know, wants you people to know. If you forsake him, he'll forsake you. Now, Jeremiah 23 and 39. Therefore, behold, I, even I, will utterly forget you, and I will forsake you, and the city that I gave you and your fathers, and cast you out of my presence. That's if you don't obey the voice of the Lord, and if you forsake him. All right? Now, in Joshua 24 and 20, it says, If you forsake the Lord and serve strange gods, like if you go do idol worship and you go strange serve another gods, then he will turn and do you hurt. And consume you after that he has done good to you so it says if you forsake the Lord and serve strange gods then he will turn and do you hurt what is this hurt this is in Deuteronomy 28 and 20 the Lord shall send upon thee cursings vexation rebuke and all that thou sets thy hand on to for to do until thou be destroyed until thou perish quickly because of the wickedness of thy doings whereby thou hast forsaken me and also he tells you that these curses will come upon you. Curse shall be thy basket and thy store. That's why you see people who don't have lots of food in their house. Curse shall be the fruit of thy body. That's why they're sleeping around and they don't sleep. Respect their body. And the fruit of thy land. They don't have land. They don't have increase. Curse shall thou be when thou comes in and curse shall thou be when thou goes out. The Lord shall send upon thee cursing and vexation and rebuke and all that thy sets thy hand on to for to do. Until thou be destroyed, and until thou perish quickly because of the wickedness of thy doing, whereby thou hast forsaken me, the Lord shall make the pestilence cleave unto thee, until he have consumed thee from off the land, whether thou goest to possess it. The Lord shall smite thee with, con with, a consum with a consumption, and with a fever, and with an inflammation, and with an extreme burning, and with the sword, and with blasting, and with mildew, and they shall pursue thee until thou perish. And thy heaven that is over thy head shall be brass, and the earth that is under thee shall be iron. So that is the curse that comes upon people when they forsake God. 
and they think it's witchcraft all the time. Well, witchcraft is real. Witchcraft, people do it. But this is a curse that comes on you when you forsake God. Therefore, I will utterly forget you and forsake you and the city I gave you and your fathers and cast you out of my presence if you forsake God. Now, the good if you don't forsake God, Proverbs 4 and 2, for I give you good doctrine, forsake ye not my law. Now, if you listen to God and you don't forsake him, Jeremiah 42 and 10, if you will still abide in this land, then I will build you and not pull you down, and I will plant you and not pluck you up, for I repent me of the evil that I've done unto you. That is if you come back to God and you don't forsake him, he will repent of the evil that he's done unto you. That is the curses in Deuteronomy 28, cursings, vexation, and rebuke, all right? Now, Psalms 119 and 8, I will keep thy statutes. Oh, forsake me not utterly, because God can forsake you if you forsake him. Now, 1 Samuel 12 and 22, for the Lord will not forsake his people for his great name's sake, because it has pleased the Lord to make you his people. Now, 1 Kings 6 and 13 and I will dwell among the children of Israel and I will not forsake my people Israel but if they forsake God he will forsake them but if they come back to him he will take them in and we're going to get to these scriptures Jeremiah 29 and 14 and I will be found of you says the Lord and I will turn away your captivity and I will gather you from all the nations and from all the places whether I have driven you says the Lord and I will bring you again into this place once I caused you to be carried away captive. Ezekiel 36 and 24. For I will take you from among the heathen. This is the children of Israel. And gather you from all, all the countries. And will bring you into your own land. Alright. Now Isaiah 42 and 16. And I will bring the blind by a way that they knew not. I will lead them in paths that they have not known. I will make darkness light before them and crook things straight these things will i do unto them and not forsake them if you don't forsake god these are the good things he will do unto you he'll bring you by a way you knew not he'll lead you in paths you have not known he'll make darkness light before you and he'll make crook things straight he will do these things for you and he won't forsake you deuteronomy 31 and 8 and the lord he it is that does go before thee he will be with thee he will not fail thee, neither forsake thee, fear not, neither be dismayed. A lot of you need to anoint with Deuteronomy 31 and 8 every single day. Let me read it again for you. And the Lord, he it is that does go before thee, he will be with thee. What does Emmanuel mean? God with us. He will be with thee. That's why it says, if another come in my father's name, you believe him. I come in my father's name and you believe me not. If another come in my father's name, then you believe he will be with thee. He will not fail thee, neither forsake thee. Fear not, neither be dismayed. Now Joshua 1 and 5. There shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. As I was with Moses, I will be with thee. Emmanuel, God with us. I will not fail thee, neither forsake thee. And this is to the, and, and I'm going to read Ezekiel 20 and 41. And I will accept you. With your sweet Savior, and I will bring you out from the people and gather you out of the countries where you have been scattered, and I will be sanctified in you before the heathen. All right, so a lot of you people think that the Messiah's name is Yeshua or Yeshua and it means salvation, but you're still waiting for um, salvation from Yeshua to come. But I'll tell you, salvation is from God day on to day, is God's salvation, and if you knew Him, you would know that. That God is the one who gave salvation. His, di His son died for the remission of your sins. So you can gain the gift of salvation. Salvation is what comes from God. Salvation, is, you can get salvation every day. God is the salvation of the children of Israel every day. Day on to day, salvation is shown. So that is all I'm going to prove to you. That is not his name. 1 Samuel 11 and 13. And Saul said, There shall not a man be put to death this day. For today the Lord has wrought salvation in Israel. Psalms 96 and 2. Sing unto the Lord, bless his name. Show forth his salvation from day to day. God's salvation is from day to day. So if you're waiting on your Messiah to bring you salvation, well, wait for it. Because I know he died for the remissions of your sins. 
so you can attain the gift of salvation from the Holy One of Israel, which is God, who gave salvation. He's the one who um, poured out his hand of salvation. His right hand poured out salvation. God did that. Sing unto the Lord all the earth. Show forth day to day his salvation. That's 1 Chronicles 16 and 23. All right. So it tells you this now. Exodus 14 and 13. You can get salvation from God every day. And Moses said unto the people, Fare ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show to you today. For the Egyptians whom you have seen today, you shall see them again no more forever. All right? So salvation is from God. Now, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you in Luke 19 and 9. And Emmanuel said unto him, This day is salvation come to this house, for as much as he also is a son of Abraham. Now Psalms 25 and 5, Lead me in thy truth and teach me, for thou art the God of my salvation. Unto thee do I wait all the day. God is your salvation. All right? God is your salvation. Isaiah 26 and 1. And in the day shall this song be sung in the land of Judah. We have a strong city. Salvation will God appoint for walls and bullocks. God. Psalms 140 and 7. O God the Lord, the strength of my salvation, thou hast covered my head in the day of battle. All right? Now Psalm 71 and 15, My mouth shall show forth thy righteousness and thy salvation all the day, for I have known not the numbers thereof. God is your salvation. Salvation is from God. Christ died for the remission of your sins so you can get repentance and God could forgive you and you could be stainless and blameless before God. To receive the gift of life. You have a blessed day.